And now two tough questions at City Hall. New police superintendent Larry Snelling spent more than seven hours defending the Chicago Police Department's $2 billion budget before City Council. That's $91 million more than last year. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has been looking at the numbers and watching this all unfold, Megan. Right, Erica, and a very large chunk of that, about $37 million, is for personnel. Superintendent Snelling acknowledged that the mass exodus of Chicago police officers is slowing down, but said it's still an issue they're facing. The 2024 budget allocates $106 million to police overtime, leading to questions from aldermen who noted that last year officers racked up about $200 million in OT. We'll continue to assess throughout so that we can be fiscally responsible, especially as it relates to overtime and officer wellness. We don't want officers working so many hours that they're so stressed out that they're not going to do the job properly. Technology and equipment was another big budget item of concern. What we can't do right now is just decide to completely just go into vehicle pursuit. As the CBS2 investigators have reported on, air surveillance is a way to eliminate some of the safety issues surrounding police chases. It's not working. It's not working enough. But several aldermen brought up concerns about Chicago's lack of working helicopters compared to other large American police departments. For example, Chicago has just three choppers that are often out of service, while CPD said Los Angeles has 36. Where is our new helicopter? Snelling said we won't get one until the end of 2025. If we try to get the more expensive dual engine choppers, then we could possibly get one earlier. Superintendent Snelling says he also wants to use the 2024 budget to install more license plate readers to help with stolen cars and robberies. With the recent RAS, uh, robberies and things of that nature, they need to be all over the city. The new budget calls for 100 more sergeants, 20 more lieutenants, 10 more captains, three more commanders, and 100 more detectives. About 400 of the department's more than 11,000 sworn positions will now be open to civilians, helping the city save money on salaries and returning some sworn officers to the streets. NCPD says almost 900 Chicago police officers are over the age of 55 and eligible to retire. The department is expecting about 200 of those officers to retire next year, but Erica, they noted mm. that that number could change. All right, Megan, thank you.